Okay, well, since you're here, I guess um, if anybody wants to maybe refresh everybody's memory on what you're doing, and I can fill in the gap. I know did we, we deal it, with uh, Pride or. Yeah, Pride? We did. The Closet of Clones. What happened in Pride? Did we learn anything? So, to my knowledge, what we, we got found hints in Pride, as to what, uh, yeah, um, we found a perfectly preserved corpse of some guy, and found that he was extending his life through cloning. But every time he cloned himself, he lost a little bit of his memory, and so eventually, it just got to the point where he couldn't remember how to do the next clone for himself, so he just died. But we found rooms piled high with old clones that had, I guess, died. Because nothing ever rots or decays in this place. So his clones just piled up. And Well, maybe there... they didn't die, they just never started living? I, I really don't know. It was weird. And then we found a six clone lady friends. Um... Did we actually get and... all of them, or did one of them get away? <coughs> I know one of them charmed me, but I think... I think we got, we got them all. Them. I do remember that, yeah, because... Um, I remember we were... It was possible that, that you, what you one of the things we were saying you would do to like keep uh, Henrik from killing her is teleporting her away, which you ended up not doing, but that might have been interesting. Like dimension dooring or whatever. Yeah, just dim door. I don't have teleport. Right. Um, but we found some significant piece of information, and unfortunately, it slips my mind right now what it was. But it once we got it, we were like, uh, ah, this sort like, of explains why we should be here. The what you might call it, his like notes and stuff were talking about how like uh he was angry that. Uh, Karzog was the one that was uh, <coughs> reviving and not his lord, and uh, all the people like went and fucked up the envy people, and then he was like trying to plot with, um, um, I think I don't remember the name, but uh, he it was said something about like like something like from the Runeforge like should be made uh, to like defeat Karzog. That's right. So they sensed that the Rune Lords were waking up, and all of them got together to prepare the way for their Rune Lords to come back, but Envy screwed around. And so they all ganged up and beat Envy down. And then somebody else betrayed them, and their alliance started falling apart. And so he was talking about the pool can make Runeforged weapons, which are powerful enough to slay a rune lord. And he was hoping that somebody would be able to go out and kill Karzog so that the pride guy would be the first one to wake up. And it explained that there's just enough power for six runeforged weapons. But I don't know if it told us how to make them yet. I think it did. It said that, um, whatchamacallit, a piece of glass from one of the mirrors should oh. be good as a as a one thing and then yeah uh, he was talking about one of uh the the chicks uh like equipment or toys in like a <laughs> uh, little the, the last the uh, last one yeah. marks. the last lady's so toys to although i think it says you should wash them off before you use them yeah Yep. Yeah, okay, so Delphahin, Delvahin. Apparently she is the representative of lust. 
but she wasn't built or created in this place, so she has the ability to leave it as she sees fit, which is why he wanted to ally with her. And she doesn't really seem that interested in Sorshin's return. So he feels that she will be unlikely to try and backstab him because she doesn't really care one way or the other. So that was... Right, and the key is that Karzog's knowledge of enchantments and illusions is weak, which is why pride and lust, which are those two schools, are, are key to defeating him, as he won't have the defenses, or his defenses against those two uh, magics are weaker. So we have to go find the uh, Delvahine, I guess, yeah. and smash one of the mirrors. Yeah. The only ch enchantment spells I have on me are like Charm Animal. That'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, he says I'm something. sure Karzog's an animal. I fear that I will be forced to see Karzog myself, in which event I will need to use the master circle I built into the Halls of Wrath to escape this place. Yet first I must set aside my work on delaying Karzog's return and turn back to the final development of my 205th clone. Uh, so it sounds like Wrath has a special thing that will allow us to exit this place. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, How are we um, all doing? I still have a... I still have some spells I can use to adventure and fight with today. I got a lot of damage on me, but I could probably heal it up, maybe? Actually, do I have a... I don't know if I have... Yeah, I still have a Cure Light Wounds wand. I could heal myself up. I seem to be pretty good for spells as well. Again, I have a little bit of damage that we could could be tended to, but I'm I feel confident. Uh, what do I have? Uh, a little bit of damage on me. Whoa. Everything changed its look. Oh yeah, and because we had that love level wall back, my UMD's back to auto success. Uh, I ain't cast anything. Apparently. Yeah, you did. That might. I don't know. Oh no, that's not you true. Spent a lot I cast of time in one tree spell. Form. It looks like. Yeah, you cast like one or two spells and then you were in your wild shape for this stuff. Oh, there's a mirror uh, there I that probably uh, would have makes also cast Mark's duplicate. Because, uh, I probably have it on me and Diana, so just going to have that cast anyway. Uh, what did I cast? It was some level 3 spell. Dispel Magic Greater? 
Level 6 spell. Okay, I cast a spell magic greater. Who's hurting? And how hard are they hurting? Uh, I have 45 damage on me. I don't remember from what, but... So are you guys Probably going into the... Lust next, then? I think that's the plan. Okay, I'll just start kind of prepping that, unless you guys tell me otherwise. But I do have uh... 30... Six charges on the cure light wounds one, so I could use that a, a, a bit too, and that probably that might work. Was that spell warmth something warmth? Do I have that prepared? Um, I probably also would have cast these on Diana. Weren't you guys gonna hole up in here and rest again, or that was just to read all that stuff? We had the journal. I think it took me some time to read the journal. Yeah. Uh, we found a super magic robe, except it's evil. Yeah, we can't use it. But somebody was going to cleanse it, so to speak, recraft it. Is a good one. Yeah, I, I wanted to. I wanted to try and do that. I'm filling up combat tracker right now. Don't freak out if it freezes. I figured we could do it together. My know-how of uh, making wondrous items and your uh, knowledge of good and redemption uh, should should come in handy. I would be honored to bless it in the name of Seren Ray. Yep, something we can do once we uh, we get out of this place. See, it's uh, sorry. This note Does here is Eric interesting. Have wand like staff or staff like wand, whatever it's called. Staff like wand, I think. Yeah. Can we use that to heal Pete? To use uh, is those wand of cure light wounds to heal people? We can, I just, I don't have a auto-success UMD. Yeah. So it could potentially break the wand. Like, temporarily. Right. There's a 5% chance. Yep. Now, let me know if you want me to do that. Well, everybody has the same chance to, you know, break the one. Yeah, unless you auto succeed. <laughs> well, technically, higher the higher your uh, UMD is, you have less chance of doing it because you don't have to do as many rerolls. But I think a one, I guess even so. if you auto succeed, a one still. Mm -mm. Stops as long the as wand. the one is still a success, uh, the one only breaks the wand if you also fail. Okay. Uh, if you look at the way it's worded, it says something like that. Like, if you if you fail and roll a one, like it has both those keywords in there. Okay. So I find it interesting that the notes from Mr. Clone Guy. I mean, he says he will need to use the Master Circle I built into the Halls of Wrath. Did Mr. Clone Guy build all of these rooms? Why would Pride be building Wrath's rooms? Seems odd. Know. 
perhaps uh, Pride and Wrath uh, worked against Karzog because Wrath was um, oh, not that's right. friendly He's with enemy. Karzog and Pride mm -hmm. has one of the schools of magic that Karzog is weak against. Okay, that makes sense. What is this room? Which one? Is there like, did fireballs happen in here or something? It's, uh, it looked like a laboratory that exploded or something yeah, along those lines. Yeah, it's kind of been like that. We think that as his dementia overtook him and he forgot how to make the clones, uh, his experiments started going wrong. I see. And all these blue guys are all of his old clones. Right, right, right. Which they found like a yeah. Um, I'm confused. Why the heck does he need clones if he can just stay here and never age and never die? That doesn't I say. Th okay, just because this place keeps you nourished and stuff doesn't mean you cannot die. True. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think he's still aging. He's still aging. I think the dude in the chair displays a little bit more age and the clones in the rooms, like if you actually start to go through the clones, you'll notice that some of the clones have like an earlier, younger appearance and then slowly but surely over the 200 plus clones, you start to see the age transition. So some of the clones at the bottom of the pile don't look as old as he currently does in the chair. By the way, he's dead in the chair right now, Mantis. Perfectly preserved. Didn't we move him, actually? Yeah, we moved oh, him. Moved I gave him, him his last rights and stuff. Okay, yeah, but you guys did see him. Yeah, Plus, his, I, his death chair, wasn't really due preserved. to his age. Right, well... He sorry. had, like, a weird, well, uh, sorry. like, brain condition. Basically. He, he basically had dementia, right? He was losing his... his memory. Yeah. But he actually did die to age because he forgot how to clone, and then he eventually just died of age. But you don't really, like, age that much in this place. Like, physically, visually, you don't look like you're aging, but your internal organs are still aging. Um, to an extent. <laughs> It's actually pretty weird, this one. Let me check what they actually say about that again. Uh... Want me to go get a shard of glass? <laughs> The body in the chair has been Ted for well over two years, yet it looks as if it had only died a moment ago. These are the remains of him magically preserved by the Runeforge. Um... Where's the info? The... Okay. Uh, the bulk of the journal catalogs his studies and the development of an improved version of clone that effectively granted him immortality. The drawback was that each time he switched bodies, he lost a portion of his own knowledge and experience, forcing himself to relearn much of his, 
relearn much with each incarnation. At several points in the book, he also speaks of how with each new clone, the debilitating dementia that lurks at the end of his life manifests a little sooner. With each new body, his effective lifespan shrink. It seems obvious that the dementia finally struck soon enough to prevent him from creating a new clone, and twas finally death claimed him. So it's not actually him, he's just using cloned bodies. So the cloned bodies are what's failing at this point. Well, it's still a him because of the way clone works in Pathfinder. Well, it says he's transferring his mind to the new clone body. Right. So the body well, it's his soul. But that's why he's dying, is because the clone body itself is failing, and he's forgot how to make a new one and continue on. Yeah. Well, are we resting, or are we continuing on? I think we can continue on, probably. Alrighty. Um, let me I think see I just need to I heal myself here. A couple of heals. Yeah, you guys gave me time to finish the encounter. I'm going for to this use area. some heals on. Luckily, I had most of it already made. Myself and Diana, and then we'll use the wand. Okay. No, man. Well, if we're going into Lust, no, which is enchantment, then we need to make sure our saves are good. Because that's like all enchantment spells. It's just saves. A lot of willpower. Everybody's ready to fight all the time. <laughs> wow, Nizzo, get a rebate on that wand. Oh, God. <laughs> A rebate? Get some of your money back? Refund. <laughs> yeah. Fill out the paperwork, Nizzo. Find your receipt. Make sure you put them together in the same envelope. <laughs> I fucking hate rebates. Seriously. Should probably use it a couple more times. Yeah, that should be good enough. I think I found a book of some sort in the burnt library, if I remember right. Yes. I don't remember what it was about, but... It was a magical item. I think. What was it? Okay. We're all under... 20 wounds. Uh, where is that item? I think one of you guys took it. Yeah, it's not in the parcels. For the item? Yeah, like the book or whatever. The book, yeah, it's a it's a magical item. Did you guys identify it? Maybe you didn't. I don't remember it being a magical it item right now. I don't think you did, because it's pretty high caster level. It's a magic book. Yeah, I don't remember who took it. I don't see it in my inventory, but it might be a business. I'm just looking through mine. Well, who's the one that went through the library stuff, anyways? Wasn't that Nizzo? That was Nizzo, I have something but... called and I found a book, book, and then I was, like, while everyone else was, like, researching uh, stuff in the library up there, or, like, Henrik was copying it's spells from the spell book that we found, or whatever. It's, like, the fourth thing down. Where is it? Oh, it just says book. Okay. Yeah, because it's not identified. You'll have oh. to wait until <laughs> tomorrow to do that. I guess so. I didn't even know we. I didn't even know it was magic. Uh, didn't somebody detect? Well, 
if nobody did, then you don't, I guess. But if somebody did, then you do. I thought it was just a book, and I don't remember what you said it was about, but... I didn't say it was about anything. No, I'm pretty sure you told me something about what it was about, because I was, no. like, reading it. <laughs> Not this book. Um, I think you said you were going to read it, but I don't think we ever, like, mm. acknowledged it. If you open that Maybe. book, all of the pages are blank. Hmm, okay. Wait, is that That's cool? weird. Let me reopen it. I might be thinking of a different item, but let me double check. What this is. Maybe it's an unused diary. Oh no, you're right, Pluto. It is a book. It is something that you can read. And in order to read the entire book, it's going to take you, well, they say it takes a total of 48 hours over a minimum of six days. Okay, so I just read part of it then. <laughs> so it's a lengthy What's book. What's it about? Um, that's uh... right. It was a... It was something about like inspiring people and persuading them. And, oh like, yeah, it was a book about leadership. leadership and, yeah. With lots of corporate buzzwords, probably. <laughs> yes. Like okay, I remember that now. Yeah. Uh, I think Diana has something to help her versus enchantments. What, what does devotion say? I have slippery mind. Devotion. An animal companion gains a plus four morale bonus on will saves against enchantment spells and effects. So, against Lust, Diana's uh, will saves are higher than mine by one. Yep, well, she won't be falling in love with things, possibly. Potentially. Well, she might. <laughs> she can still roll ones. That's true. But she won't follow any of their commands, because she's been trained not to. Well, I don't think it works that way. If somebody's under the charm effect, even if you train them, they're still charmed, so... It's magic. The only, uh... Um... I, no, I gave her the uh, exclusive trick. The only way that they can command her is if they dominate animal her. What is this trick called? And it just completely negates charm spells? Exclusive. It doesn't stop charm spells. Well, that's what I was saying. It's not does does stop a stop, spell. It stops them from, like, commanding her. Not, no, if, if you're so under the effect she of a spell, a... she's under the effect of a spell. I think it just makes them makes her like treat them like the opposing person how she would treat someone like abysm or nizzo rather yeah. than she won't take how... directions from them but she won't yeah. like harm them either and probably uh amara wouldn't be able to like would be able to command her to do something to harm them or it'd have to do like maybe do a handle animal to force them to do it or something maybe but exclusive uh, I see. yep huh. it specifically calls out charm animal yeah it does 
That just means she's gonna be kind of like stoic towards them. That she's not gonna do anything, basically. That's right. She'll stop attacking them. That's pretty good. I didn't know that exist. When did that show up? But it also means that if for some reason Amara goes down and somebody else needs to try and get Deanna to do something, they, they can't. Be able to, yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. But Diana is smart enough. She has three intelligence. That she can figure some things out on her own. Oh, that makes sense. I didn't even put a grid on a... That's a uh, so any ideas how we're going to smash some mirrors without creating our evil duplicates? Oh, you're not going to dim door past them again? I was getting so used to that. We had to fight doppelgangers? No. Yeah, somebody almost got disintegrated. Not doppelgangers, but... Yeah. Evil duplicates. They had goatees and everything. <laughs> They were doppelgangers in the sense of the word, but not in the mechanical sense of the game. What is it, flexo? Everybody's flexo. So we had two Henriks? We Futurama, yeah. <laughs> no, we should dimension door past uh, those mirrors and then just break one of the normal ones. Or the ones that don't well, trigger a drop. True, he did say any of the mirrors. He didn't say those funky ones. Yeah, okay. That's reasonable. So what are you going to do? I can't get this grid right. gonna have to do it's gonna have to do okay um yeah what do you do you're gonna try to go past the mirrors or past the trap mirrors we'll, we'll dimension door path you're gonna dimension door again okay well we need we need part of the mirror though don't we for some well there's mirrors everywhere well, you don't the thing is that any any mirror will oh, do okay so we don't actually need the magic ones then. That's fine then. We actually already have a. Once we're all grouped up, I'll dimension Doris. 